I started playing drums um, and uh, started then picked up the bass after that and kind of started writing songs after that. I was really kind of into Desmond Decker and uh, stuff like Don Drummond and stuff like that, that funky, funky shit like that. And uh, got into The Clash on the specials. They were all kind of big in my collection back then. And the Beastie Boys as well, the Paul's Boutique album. It's like a big, big album for me. And just kind of um, picked up loads of other things along the way. You know, and my collection has kind of stayed. I still listen to that stuff now, so it's just got bigger, really, as it goes. A few things I've dropped along the way and thrown in the bin, but most things are kind of I still like now. Tragedy is always a fun topic, isn't it? <laughs> always fun. I was saying something the other day, something about Carlito's Way, you know that film Carlito's Way? Yeah, yeah. Great film. And you just think he's going to make it at the end, and then he's just... Poof, and you're like, oh, no. You know, there's something that attracts you, like storylines like that, where it doesn't go well, you know, but it's still kind of... No, I've always liked things like that, but it's just... I, you know, go out every Friday and Saturday, and I see people get the shit kicked out. <laughs> and it's not nice, but you are in the pub the next day going, mate, I saw someone get the fucking shit kicked out from last night. It's as simple as that, really, I suppose. You know, it's gossip, I suppose, then it's thin, isn't it? Gossip on record should work for Heat magazine. <laughs>